I would just refer to it as a portable animation system. Basically, it lets you do most of the things you can do in Studio I, but just right on a desktop. Um, and we've sold this one to um, Imagine on to Robin Bryan and her Tech Central staff, and it's going to go out among the branches so that we can sort of push out the experience people are having at Studio I out to the branches, and it'll also be used um, at Imagine on. Uh, when it's when it's not out at branches, but it's basically um, a setup that allows you to do uh, all types of stop motion animation. So we may get it here on occasion, or we may get it on um, partly because there is quite a demand to imagine on by adults that want to use this. Um, yeah, the adults are kind of jealous of the kids because yeah. they, you know, the studio eyes for teenagers. But adults are always trying to hang around, and they're always having to be kicked out to, to let the kids do their thing. And so uh, I think this would get really good for a film. Um, so let me just show you the basic setup here. Um, you know, this part of it is basically like you know the animation stand. And so it's designed to be used in two different ways. Right now I have it set up for uh, sort of like horizontal shooting, uh, traditional tabletop type shooting. Like if you wanted to do something like stop motion animation with a character like this, or if you wanted to do something like uh, clay animation, where the character is standing upright, then you would, you know, put the, this camera support on in this position. Um, and then we're using, obviously we're using a Mac here, um, it, we, it, can, it can work either with a Mac or a PC, but it, it works very nicely with the Mac because of the built-in software. This is a program, a third-party program called I Can Animate. It comes out of uh, England. Um, and basically you just focus the camera, aim it at the character, and then you start shooting frames. You can just click on this little camera button here shoot a frame and you hear a nice little click, or what I usually do is I just hit the one key. And so every click takes a frame and the frame is displayed right down there. If you want to delete a frame, just hit delete. Uh, if you want to duplicate a frame, let's say we want this frame to be three frames long, three frames longer than it is. Every time you hit Apple D, it duplicates the frame. So that now if we want to actually do a little bit of animation, let's say I'll take the character, I'm just going to do something kind of rough, just sort of move him forward, take a frame, move forward again, take a frame. Let me show you another setup here where we do set this on both. So in other words, we're seeing camera and frames. When you have it set on both, it has a property called onion skinning. So you see how you see where your last frame was shot, and then this is what the camera's seeing. So it really helps you see your increments that you're doing. Oh, wow. And you can tell, you know, do you need a small move to get a subtle movement, or do you want a big move to get more speed? And then you can uh, play it back anytime you want, just toggle frame by frame. You can rearrange frames very easily. Uh, so this is a very user-friendly, easy interface that you know even an adult could learn how to use. You know, the kids can pick it up in no time. Even adults can pick it up pretty quick. And this program comes with a Mac. The um, well, this, yeah, this program the, I can animate is only for Macs. Okay. But on the PC side, there's a program called Stop Motion Pro, which is very good as well. And that's what's set up in Studio I. Studio I is all PC. Uh, either one of them work real well. Um, I, I have a slight preference for the Mac after working with both platforms, just because you have, so you go right from here and do your animation here, then you can go to iMovie and edit your animation, um, do add sound, uh, music, sound effects, you can add real nice titles, then you can go right from iMovie to iDVD, create a DVD menu, buttons and all that, and then burn it to a DVD. Um, I'll show you just a quick little movie. This was a guy who was, he wanted to shadow me for a day, one of these sort of career day things, and he was like 14 or 15. He had never worked with any of this equipment or this software, um, and he made this little movie in about three hours. 
all the way through a DVD. Can everybody see the screen? We can show it, John. Uh, Tell them real quickly okay. who you are and what you do. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. Since you're okay. going to show a little bit about you. Right. Uh, I, I, um, my name's John Lemon, and uh, the company that I'm with is John Lemon Films, and we do animation, traditional uh, stop motion animation, clay animation, 2D cell animation. Everything we do is character animation. And so a couple of years ago, um, uh, the folks at Imagine On hired our company to put together Studio I. And so, just because we knew the animation side of things, and so we designed the room and put all the, put everything together, just, you know, put that whole room um, together. Um, so we've been doing this um, like 23 years, so we've been at it quite a long time. And just over the last few years, I've been getting into more and more like teaching, you know, teaching kids and to some extent adults how to do animation. Um, so this is. This project, we started talking with Imagine On just a few months ago about doing this that could go out to the branches, like I said, and, and give you the animation capabilities of Studio I, but in a portable system. Um, any questions about that? Thank you, Matt. <laughs> I realized that I was launching it a step too early. Do you work here in Charlotte? Or yeah, yeah, our company's in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. We've been here for the whole time since. Uh, I'll just send out his web address because I think there's samples of things you've done. Yeah, there's samples of work that we've done, uh, commercials. We also do online things. games. Uh, in fact, our first experience with the library is that Helen Flowers, when she was over the internet division, she hired us to do two Brary Dog games, and those were a whole lot of fun. Um, and so then Studio I was the second project, and then this is the third project. Um, but I, I've got a few cards, so I'll pass them around if I can grab one. It has the web site and all on there. But you know, the, the movies that are the most fun to watch, I think ours are fun, but the, the movies that the teenagers have done in Studio I are just awesome. They've really done some cool things. Okay, I'm going to show you this one that the, the fellow did who was uh, uh, <coughs> came to my place and he just worked with, he was the first guinea pig on this equipment. the next thing I'm going to show you. You see how the walls, the floor and the walls here are blue. This is set up to do blue screen, a chroma key. So it's just like the weatherman standing against the blue wall and they insert the map of the U.S. and all the weather patterns behind the weather person. You can do the same thing here. Just like you can do, you know, Studio I, they have that big blue wall, but here it's just all built right into the system. So I'll, I'll do it demonstration for you of how we do that background. <laughs> 